grade seven students. Today I am going to explain lesson twenty eight tessellation. You have to read the information in page hundred and forty eight. We will see what is tessellation. Tessellation is the process of creating a design consisting of repeated use of one or more shapes closely fitted together without gaps or overlaps on a plane surface now i have taken two tiles so if i keep them without gaps without overlaps without overlaps this is the way you can identify tessellation another example floor tiles square shape floor tiles you can see without gaps no gaps in between no overlaps that is the way you identify tessellation when you consider tessellation there are two types pure tessellation and semi pure tessellation before i explain pure tessellation you have to do activity 2 please observe several tessellations which they have given in page 149 turn to page 150 you have to fill that table figure 1 sketch of the shape you can please observe the figure 1 what type of shape they have drawn here a triangle then you have to draw a triangle then you have to observe figure 2 3 4 5 and 6 we have to draw the sketch of the shape right now you know what is tessellation now i am going to explain pure tessellation tessellation that is done using just one shape is called pure tessellation only one shape now you can observe only one shape only triangles they have used that's a pure tessellation then the figure 2 only hexagon only one shape pure tessellation figure 3 only one shape figure 4 only one shape 5 only one shape six only one shape all these are pure tessellations how did you identify because they have used only one shape exercise 28.1 question number 1 2 3 4 4 home page 151 semi pure tessellation tessellation that is done using two or more different shapes is called semi pure tessellation please observe this figure you can see they have used two types of shapes so it's a semi pure second figure when you observe you can see different shapes semi pure tessellation activity 4 i am going to explain the figure shows a tessellation that has been created using triangles and quadrilaterals you can see what type of tessellation is this semi pure tessellation why is that 
they have used triangles and quadrilaterals so you also can create another tessellation using triangles and quadrilaterals and paste it in your exercise book right now can you see this diagram okay the figure shows a tessellation that has been created using a squares a point at which vertices of several of these squares meet has been marked as p now you can see this square and another square here there are four squares vertices of several of these squares meet this place marked as p now i'm going to explain that the sum of the angles around the vertex point of a tessellation created using rectilinear plane figure is 360 the sum now here sum means addi addition of these angles now here you can see this is a right angle 90 degrees here you get 90 degrees here you get 90 degrees here you get 90 degrees when you add all four it is equal to 360 degrees the sum of angles around a vertex point of a tessellation created using rectilinear plane figure is 360 degrees example 2 this tessellation is made by using equilateral triangles equilateral triangles i have used equilateral triangles here q is the vertex point q angle of an equilateral triangle here you get 60 degrees here you get 60 degrees here you get 60 degrees when you add 60 how many times 1 2 3 4 5 6 6, 6 times 60 degrees multiplied by 6 360 degrees the sum of angles around a vertex point of a tessellation equals 360 degrees this is important point turn to page 152 Exercise twenty eight point two. Question number one and two for homework. And page hundred and fifty three. Creating tessellation designs. You can create some designs. activity 6 that is also for homework this is uh, you can do for holiday homework creating tessellation designs for holiday homework page 153 page 149 activity 2 Page one hundred and fifty, exercise twenty eight point one. Page one hundred and fifty two, exercise twenty eight point two. Those homework you have to submit on time. 